Welcome everyone to my channel that is Fast and Easy Maths which is dedicated to give you tips and tricks related to mathematics. So students, today we are going to understand algebra tricks when it involves square roots. Okay, so you see over here all these questions are having square roots. Okay, so very very quickly before beginning with the entire process, one very very important thing you need to remember is that when you have a root of any number, or any variable okay so if it is multiplied by itself means root of a when multiplied by root of a where, where a can be any number or it can be any variable then here you can directly say this as nothing but a so if you want to break your a you can also write this as nothing but root of a into root of a vice versa also obviously works okay also very important in mathematics, we always have a practice of not leaving your roots in the denominator. No. When that happens, what you will do? You will multiply with the conjugate and shift your roots in the numerator. Okay. This is very, very important. Okay. So now let's begin with our first sum. The sum looks very, very easy, but somehow people get tricked. Okay. So here we have root 3 x. So now please understand when the root is not above your variable that means x is without the root. Okay. So basically we are having root 3 upon 3 multiplied by x and this is equal to 3. Then we have to find the value of x. So like over here I am going to shift my 3 on the other side. So if I am shifting I am multiplying both sides by 3 okay because I don't want it in the denominator so this is getting cancelled so here I will have what 9 and this root 3 if I want to shift it on the other side since it is getting multiplied by x I'm going to shift it on the denominator okay now like I said we are not going to leave our answers with roots in the denominator so in that case what do you do you multiply with root 3 in on the numerator and the denominator so your answer now becomes 9 root 3 upon root 3 into root 3 will get you just 3 now here we can see that 3 1s are and 3 3s are so we are getting 3 root 3 as our answer for x okay so i hope you all got this it is super simple you don't have to worry Simply if you find a root in the denominator, you just multiply by itself and remove the root. Okay. Now coming to the next one. Students, before beginning with this one, I would like to remind you all that if you like the way I'm explaining, then please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos. Also, students, don't forget at the end of this video, I'm going to put up a DIY question whose answers you can mention in the comment section and I will let you know whether you are right or wrong. So now over here, see, when you have anything your LHS or RHS with an X and it is coming in uh, under the root, means the root is covering your whole LHS or your RHS, especially the one which has a variable. Then in, the, what, in that case, what do you do? See, <coughs> in, in algebra, basically, we are always doing the opposite. So what is the opposite of square root square? So we are going to square both the sides. When you square any root, basically the square and the root will cancel. If you have any doubt, I will just explain this. So we have a root of a and if I want to square. So please understand what is the index of root a, a raised to half. And then we have, we are multiplying it by 2, but we are taking a square. So basically we are multiplying by 2, okay. So the 2 and 2 is getting cancelled. So we are getting a raised to 1 which is nothing but a. Okay. So here <coughs> I am. Uh, since I have taken square on both the sides. The root will cancel. I have 5x minus 6. Now please understand. Here we are taking 2 square. <coughs> I'm so sorry. 2 square is nothing but 4. Okay. Since here we did not take a square. That does not mean here we don't have to. Okay, here there is no square root involved. So, we are going to take the square of 2 which is 4. Okay, now since I don't want the 6 on this side. So, I am shifting it on the other side. So, now please understand 4 plus 6. And this 5 was getting multiplied with x. So, I am going to divide it by 5. So, 4 plus 6 is 10 upon 5. So, my x is equals to 
two. Okay. Now coming to this one. This is super simple. I don't know why students get confused. Please understand when you have a root, uh, root and it is getting multiplied by a number and it is give, getting divided by some other number. Okay. Some in this case we are getting it is getting divided by the number itself. Okay. Please understand when the sign in the numerator is just a multiplication sign. Then you get the liberty of cancelling these numbers if they are going in each other's table. But if, if the question was 3x minus 6 plus 4 and divide by 4 and plus 4 or minus 4. And if you do the cancellation then it is absolutely wrong. Okay, please understand you cannot do that. When you have a plus or minus sign, you cannot cancel part of your numerator with your denominator. Please, please get this very, very clearly because a lot of students still make this mistake. Okay. When you have multiplication, you can directly subtract. Now, like I said, we are left with root, which is covering the whole of your LHS. So we are going to square on both these sides. Now taking the square of a square root, the, the square root will go away. So we have 3x minus 6 is equal to 36. Shifting the 6 on the other side, so basically we get x is equal to 36 plus 6 upon 3. That is nothing but 42 upon 3, that is going to get you 14. So value of x is nothing but 14, okay. So now the, the next one is a bit of a tricky one, but trust me I am going to show you a, an, uh, a method, it is not even a trick honestly. Basically, when you have a number and a number in the numerators, okay, on both these sides and you have something involving a variable in your denominator, okay, what you have to do, the first step, very, very simple, you just shift your, uh, this entire denominator on this side and this numerator on the other side. So, 14 will get divided by 2, this 2 will come below and this entire denominator this entire denominator will go on the other side so we will have 3 root x minus 2 now you might be wondering how can i multiply something like that so please understand when i divide both sides by 2 here the answer becomes 1 and this entire thing when multiplied by 1 you will get it as it is okay so now we have 7 is equal to 3 root x minus 2 now since the root is just covering the x okay or just one part of your rhs here i can shift this number on the other side very quickly so 7 we will add 2 on both sides to get rid of this 2 so i'm getting what 9 is equal to 3 root x okay still we have just root x in the uh, root i mean sorry we just have x in the root and the 3 is not in the root so i can directly uh, you know take it um, on the other side and that becomes 9 divided by 3 and we have x over here so x 3 is equals to root x so if i want to find the value of x what i should do i should just square the both the side so now therefore i can say square root and square will cancel so x i'm just getting x is equals to 3 square which is 9 so that is your answer now coming to your diy I want you to tell me what is the answer of 3x minus 2 is equals to 4. Do let me know your answers in the comment section. Also very quickly let me just tell you all that if you have a doubt then what you should do is you should just put your value of 2 in this question and see if your answer is coming out to be 2. Okay if that is the case then 5 into 2 is going to get you 10. 10 minus 6 is going to get you 4. 4 under a root will get you 2. Okay, so in that case, I can say my this answer is absolutely correct. So that's it for now. I will soon see you in the next video.